And I think that they didn't change that is um, a bit strange. Hello friends of Paperbound Knowledge Transfer. Welcome to another video, another book review on my channel. As some of you may know, the 40th anniversary of the Falklands War is coming up in 2022. If one looks at the internet, then it seems like everyone who went down south to fight, and in addition some other people, wrote a book about the Falklands War and their experiences in it. So I thought it would be helpful for you guys if I did a video about what to read about the Falklands War or on the Falklands War. Now, in order to do that, I have to first read a number of books about that war. And I've decided that I will do specific videos about all those books. And in the end, I am going to do um, yeah, a recommendation video on what are the best books to read on that topic. Now, in that series, the second book, this video, is simply called The Falklands War by Martin Middlebrook. Originally published in 1985, but I've got an edition from 2000 in one in my hands. Martin Middlebrook is quite a prolific author about military history or military history topics. He mostly did books about, or did or does, he's still alive, <laughs> books about single military operations like, for example, the air raid on Peenemünde in the Second World War. He has also done a book about the Falklands War from the Argentinian perspective, which was the first book I reviewed in this series, and, uh, yeah, for which you will find a link in the description below. As always, I have organized this video into single chapters, which you will find in the timeline here, down here in the video, or in the description below. But now let us have a look at the book in question in more detail. Let us now look at the structure and the content of the book. The book is structured into 22 main chapters, which take us all the way from the reasons for the Falklands War to the surrender of the Argentinian forces at its very end in Port Stanley or indeed the entire Falklands Islands. The information used in the book comes from British documents and a large number of interviews that the author conducted with British veterans. He would have liked to interview Argentinian veterans, but he couldn't do it at the time in yeah, 1985 or before because he was not allowed to go to Argentina by the then government. When he was finally allowed to do so, he wrote a second book, The Argentinian Fight for the Falklands, from the Argentinian perspective using the interviews he did then with the Argentinians. That was the first book that I reviewed in this series, and you will find a link in the description below. The interviews the author did with the British veterans are quite often used in the text to tell the story by you know, utilizing quite long excerpts from those interviews to talk about what the soldiers experienced in that very moment or in that battle or whatever it is. Which in my mind gives the entire story and the yeah, entire war a much more human touch or human factor in the storytelling. In general, I got the feeling that the book is less concerned with um, the kind of grand politics which were maybe important in Buenos Aires and London and is much more down-to-earth or much more oriented toward the, towards the soldiers on the ground. To support the text, there are a very few pictures on a few picture pages in the middle of the book and many maps. Let us now come to the discussion part of this video, where I tell you what I like and I dislike about this video, kind of weighing the pros and cons, if you will. First of all, I think this book is easy to read and well written. For me, the grand problem with this book is its age in combination with the fact that many factual errors 
were not improved, were not changed in the 2001 edition. I'm, what I mean by that is that back in 1985, when this book was first written, many facts um, were not quite straight about the Falklands War. So, for example, the number of aircraft, enemy aircraft, Argentinian aircraft, shot down by whatever anti-aircraft anti system that the British had back then. Some of those mistakes Mr. Middlebrock recorded in his other book, The Argentinian Fight for the Falklands, but he did not change those facts when I guess he would have had the opportunity when the 2001 edition came out. And I think that they didn't change that is um, a bit strange, um, a bit lazy even, and because of that a bit infuriating because it perpetuates some uh, yeah, wrong notions about that war. Really don't like that. On the other hand, the big, big, sorry, plus point with this book is, in my mind, that it is much closer to the individual soldiers, to people who actually took part in this war with yeah, using all those long interview excerpts that gets across what they felt and what they experienced much more than some other books. It's not to say that you know, the ground politics about the war and decisions made in London and Buenos Aires is not important. In fact, those were the reasons why those guys were down there. But it is nice to have a book that gets a bit more into the human dimension. Now for my personal final verdict on this book. In my mind, this is a solid and well-written introduction to the Falklands War. There's a bit less information on the diplomacy side and big decisions taken in London and Buenos Aires, but there's a lot more information on the personal accounts and personal experiences of the people who actually fought the war than in some other books. I say it is a good introduction into the Falklands War because, in my mind, this book and some others uh, written around the time of the war or shortly after it share the problem that some of the information is now known to be wrong. But if you know that, and if you don't take every bit of information in this book to be absolute, irrefutable, historic fact, then this book is well worth the read. Not least because yeah, used copies can be picked up online for quite reasonable prices nowadays. Now for my reading recommendations on the same kind of topic. As you already know, I have already reviewed The Argentinian Fight for the Falklands, also by Martin Middlebrook on the Argentinian side of things. So you will find the link in the description below and I can already recommend reading it. Good companion book to this book. Then I recommend 100 Days, written by Sandy Woodward, the Admiral in charge of the Naval Task Force sent down to the Falklands in 1982. Also quite interesting. I will review that book in the future and also put the link down here. Last recommendation is No Picnic by Julian Thompson, Brigadier Julian Thompson, I think. He was the commander of 3rd Commando Brigade in the Falklands War that was the original land component sent down to the Falklands to recapture them. Also quite interesting. We'll also review that in the future and put the link below. So that was my opinion on this book and my recommendations. I would be interested to hear, interested to hear, sorry, what you think about this book and what kind of recommendations you have for me to read on the Falklands War. If you like, put them in the comment below. Maybe like my video if you like it, dislike it if you dislike it, do whatever you want. It's a free country, but at least the one I'm in right now. Without further ado, I can only say, have a nice day, have fun reading, see you the next time, goodbye.